hi guys in this video we will learn how to implement data tables in laravel live wire so let's get started with an example and let's understand so let me go here and you can see that here i created home route and there is a uh, simple i say hello world okay and let me go here and you can see that p take with the hello okay now what i will do there is a already provided a composer package that you can use that one and you can use uh, data tables using laravel live wire so this is the best composer package like laravel live wire tables okay what you need to do simply go here and here you can see that they already provided uh, documentation so you need to just open it and here there is a command installation command and you need to just copy this copy and you go to terminal and here i will be paste it and let's wait a moment to install that okay now you can see that uh, it's installed okay yeah it's taking time so just wait a moment yeah it's installed and let me clear it and i will simply again run php artisan serve okay so project is uh, running again okay now you can see include including uh, uh, assessment as uh, assets okay so here you need to define like uh, import and all the things so that's i'm not going to do so next is if i go to say they'd say commands simply go click on it you can see that there is a command how to create component class okay so we need to use this command to create users table okay so we will do it for a users so what i will do i will copy this command and it will create one live wire component using this package okay so copy this and i will paste it over here and click enter you can see that live wire data table created for users table so let me go to the editor and here you can see that live wire you can see over here users table.php and they already by default use user model set uh, primary key id and they define automatically column that's id name email and created at okay now let me go here and is the next is the configuration so they already provide like uh, you need to publish some configuration so you can define the theme like you know tilebind css bootstrap 4 bootstrap 5 that theme you can define it okay so that's not going to do i am right now simple go to the rendering and over here they already provide how you can call this component so i will copy this okay and you can see that users tables what we created copy this and go to my home.blad file here i will be put it and i'm going to use bootstrap 5 so i will keep over here 5 and save it and now let me go and refresh it so i will go and refresh yeah that's again let me run our applications php artisan sir okay and here you can see that so now there is simple automatically provided data table where you can search where you can page in it you can see okay same thing if i say 25 you can see that over here okay and if i simply make it 10 you can see if i search for example hardik but it you can see that it's doing nothing okay so by default if i go here into the component they are not providing the search option so what you need to do for that there is already provided in the documentation okay so what i will do over here in the configuration i will say this and then i will say set search enabled okay so that means you need to enable the search option and then each of the column you need to provide which column you want to make it searchable so i will add searchable function okay copy this and i will put it every column okay and also for update save it okay and now let me go and yeah refresh it you can see that hardik so i will remove it you can see that again do the clear i will say lowly okay you can see over here so it's searching and it's working fine so you can see how easily you can do that one okay same thing if you want to add one more action column over here and you want to add like view button or something then how can you do so you need to again go to the documentation they provide everything so i will go to the link columns okay and what i will do over here copy this 
and I will add one more column that's called action column okay and here I will say edit instead of edit I will add view and route I will use users for now because I already created I'm and remove this okay simply for the testing remove this and I will add class for the uh, for the button btn btn info now save it okay and you can see link column class so I will use it over here and yeah something like this way save it okay and now let me go and refresh it yeah link uh, column views not found something has happened there so I will say not the column so what I will do copy this Control P and you can see that they already provide columns okay so what I will do column save it and refresh it you can see that now there is action over here and you can see with the view button okay so you understand how easily we can use this okay using this package and I love it like uh, how easily they provide it so you can read the documentation and they already provide how you can do with uh, relation table and all the things for example if I go here and I will say relationship and you can manage with that as well like uh, how can address dot address and all the things okay so you can read the, all the documentation and then you can define your columns and all the things with live wire automatically okay so if you like this video then please subscribe my channel like video and share with your friends uh, see you on the next video thank you so much